I just watched the fourth episode of Gerard Michaels reality show with him and his dad. I get where he's coming from. Feeling like there was a whole, well, not feeling, because this episode he talked about how his dad had a whole nother family, four other kids, was in a relationship with this lady for 40 years, and also um, hiding it, and how he felt hurt about it, and, and, and if y'all have not seen the episode, you need to see it, because it's, 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 the ending was climactic, and his father at the end was like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It's like he knew that he was going to bring this topic up and talk about it. And he didn't want to do it on camera, of course. No one would want to do that. But Gerard was more like, well, when are you going to do it? Like, you, you wouldn't talk about it. I had to find out that I, had a, I was going to school with my brother, and you didn't say anything. And you can just see the hurt in both of their eyes. I know that feeling. I know what it feels like to have to express that. And, you know, me and my pop obviously had an opportunity to talk. and But... That shit hurts. He said that he wondered if he had, if the one thing that hurts him the most is, it, or would hurt him the most if he found out, I guess, like if his father had more fun with his other family. And of course his father's like, why are you bringing that up, son? You know, and he got it all out. He got his frustration out. His father was respectful. I mean, he was like, you said what you had to say. You've got it all out, out, out your chest. And I would like to go home because I'm sure that's hurtful too. I think we forget that our parents have lives and complications and challenges and they forget how that affects the kids. And oh, this was emotional. I know that feeling. He said him and his he said him and his father didn't even have a relationship. Like he wouldn't call and say, "Hey, mom, is dad there?" Put dad on the phone. It'd be more like, "Hey, mom, hey, dad, is mom there?" And it seemed like a theme. And I don't know if it's black families. I, I can't speak about non-black families because I'm not in one. But it seems like a ongoing theme with this type of childhood trauma that shows up in your actions as an adult. I don't know what to expect watching the show as a whole, but I can truly say this episode was something. It, it's got me and my emotions and my father passed away a year ago of course I'm not holding on to that oh shit but the, 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 the oh, there was often times where I sit there and I was like he enjoyed his other family more than me I was the beginning I was here first it just brought up some old feelings that whether they resolve or not it just still hurt And then, of course, he happens to be gay as well. So, there's that. Then you have the whole... But I don't know if he was effeminate or not. Like, I don't think they could clock his tea. Like, my tea was clockable, clockable. Bitch. I think you heard the clock in the background. Bitch, reminded me how clockable my tea was. I'm so grateful to have had the opportunity to talk to my dad. Know that he loves me regardless. But, you know, people just don't... 
I hope this doesn't start something to where they have this moment where they don't talk for a while because you gotta get these discussions out. You gotta have these moments. These traumatic moments have gotta be discussed. You can move past them. You can't always just forget and move on because people sit in that 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 level of pain during that time. You gotta get that pain like out. You just have to. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mm. You gotta get it out. I don't know. You should definitely check out that episode. Like, real talk. Interesting. Really? Okay. Love y'all later.